are in the keeping situation for Longford. Yeah, and here's Longford down on the left hand side now. It looks like Kyle O'Connor is going to try and get the ball in early. And booty off with the header there, but just hits off the back of the Cork defender. But it's fallen again here for Jordan Adiemo. It's a goal for Longford Town. That man, Jordan Adiemo. Straight away. What a wonderful start for Longford. He's an exciting player. He likes to take on a man or two when he, when he has the ball, you know. And he, he's always very positive. Um, oh, he is, yeah, but he has that in his locker, do you know what I mean? He probably yeah. hasn't, he's probably too young to be I'll jaded by the game. Looks like it could be Sammy Clark to deliver it in here now, Red and ball. it's into the box, Ooh. and corner just hits for the court, man, and it's a corner for Longford Town indeed. But as you said, but look, he was c calm and cool there now, and it was a good out ball. Luke Wade Slater just doesn't find the Longford man with that throw, and it gives Cork a, a chance to break here now, and they've spaced some bodies out right here. If they can get the ball, it's a good ball out. By Key and Murphy, and it's drilled across the six yard box. And oh, just Nathan Wood just can't control the shot there. And kind of Mo Booty after catching his breath there may have picked up a bit of a dig in that earlier attack. Yeah. I think it's Greg Bulger standing over this one for a cork. He's going to deliver an in swinger here. And it's the back post, and it's a free header, and it's a goal for Cork City. 1 1. Key and Coleman with the goal there. Good response from Cork City. There. Yeah, absolutely. Then a long range shot, like if one of them flies in top corner, there's not much you can do about it, you know? Uh, I'd still be asking questions. But <laughs> Look, here come Cork again, and it's that man Wood. We've mentioned him a few times in the last couple of minutes, and he's looking to put Cork City ahead here, and he bends one in. Uh, oh, and it's not far oh, away. Oh, that's a terrible miss. Uh, it's not far away, but... See if they can get a good delivery here into the box. and. Look like they're going to play the short one there, but they've opted to go direct, and it's in, and there's a free man here, and it's 2 0 Cork City. Mo oh, Boudiaf, I think, will let his man go there, unfortunately. Free header, we were just talking about it there, and we'll see it here on the replay. There's to was there, get them back up the pitch, because yeah, there was a nice bit of pressure there from Cork. It was dangerous, Cork had bodies around the box there, and it was two or three lads, they were itching to have a shot and test. Drive, you know, drive, but yeah. Luke Wade Slater is going to. Feed in Boudiaf here on the edge of the box and Boudiaf with the early ball. That's a corner there. And it's a Longford corner. Tries a little back heel. Oh, lovely. They're nice when they work. Yeah, he wouldn't be uh, coming across as a bit of a yeah, real industrial style. Sammy Clark's going to send this one into the box. And it's a, there's a good bit of whip in that oh. and it, it could go anywhere. Looking Long, appeals for handball. It's falling back to Boudiaf. Couldn't find Sammy Clark, who was screaming. <laughs> Any more platitudes going for <laughs> us here, there? <laughs> it's a good header there by Bulger to over Ross Fay and Corker on the attack here. Again. Yeah, Dino Shea needs to keep going out. Oh, he has the beating of him, and it's a low cross in, and oh, it could have went anywhere. Jordan Talon with the touch there, but it could have went anywhere. That Here's the first one of the second half, and it's a good delivery, but it's a red and black shirt that rises the highest to clear it but Cork got a second bite of cherry here and it's a ball over the book and it's in the back of the net but the linesman has the flag up and he had it up quite early because yeah, he was a mile offside <laughs> what the complaints are for yeah, I don't think there could be any complaints for that one good ball down the line there might just be too much on it but he's managed to pull it back in and it's a free ball at the edge of the box just couldn't get the shot away and Sammy Clark gets a vital touch but Cork have it again and he's eyeing up and it's straight down the barrel but it's loose hands that's a superb save, but it could go anywhere. And it's falling again, it's a miss hit. Just trying to get a few touches here now, and Jordan Talon gives a, a ball down the line. Luke Wade Slater had made a run, but it was a poor execution, the pass, and Luke Wade Slater is out of position, and that allows Cork to come here down the left-hand side, and there's Longford men scampering to try and cover, and it's a great pull back, and it could, oh, and it's just straight down the middle. Sean Murray. He'll be disappointed. Move it on to the corner. Interesting to see Longford of every man inside the 18 yard box. It's a good delivery. It's a flat one to the back post and it's another free header and it's a third for Cork City. Yeah, training ground manoeuvre there from, from Cork City. All right to the back post, really good stuff. Header back across the box and not it in camp tonight. And as he's oh, and it's a, a, a shaky clearance there, but Good recovery by Coleman. But Whitstead has closed him down again and he's he's persistent here and it's fallen to Crawley on the edge of the box. And he's gonna have a go. 
but straight down the middle there and it's an easy obstacle to give it back to Kyle O'Connor bit of 1-2 between him and Slater gets it again he sends a deep one into the back post Jordan Tallon wins it there's no long for man there it's going to fall to Jordan Adiemo tries to bikey falls to Sammy Clark pulls the trigger might have a second bite falls to Kyle O'Connor it's going to do 1-2 3 turns chips it back ah. just nobody there probably this is here neither team really getting a foot on the ball and it's back at the feet of Wade He's trying to hit one out wide, but Crowley had the reading of that. Well Loses done, his very good stuff. Still gets it out to Gilly, and Gilly finds Boudiaf. Boudiaf, that's a straight. Definitely a oh. foul, I would have thought. <laughs> Greg Budger <laughs> with the dark arts there. Um, or just for that. But to be fair, I don't think Cork have hit the target or had any shots from outside the box tonight. Or shots, at, well, they've had a couple of shots, but, but nothing. Nothing on target, really. It's the set pieces, and here's another one. And it's in a dangerous spot, and it's in the back of the net. And he's looking at the linesman, but he hasn't the flag up, and that's four for Cork. Oh, this game for Longford Town, but Longford Town yeah. still have to be doing the right things and making the correct decisions. Unfortunately, that was a really poor decision made. Yeah, uh, well, decision made there. As we alluded to earlier, there's probably a good few regulars missing, so it's a chance for some of these lads to grab a jersey and it's a good ball into the box oh. and just can't direct a goal bound. And that is the last play of the night, and it's three points for Cork City.